that old rail shit. So customer decided he wants to go ahead and really turn it up on some race gas, so this should be pretty fun. The only downside is I have another car coming, so I had to pull this off of the dyno uh, so I can do that other car, and then we'll put this one back on. But while I'm waiting for the other car to get here, I'm going to go ahead and drain the gas out of this. Um, my This has a Dash 8 return line on it, and uh, my Dash 8 draining hose uh, grew legs and walked away, so I have some awesome combination of crap here to make it work so dash eight hose an eight to six reducer random dash six hose another uh adapter so we can get some length and run it into uh a drain a drain shit what's that thing called a gas can uh so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now this thing set back up on the dyno uh, just pulled some plugs out take a look I want to be able to keep an eye on things a little bit closer and I want to drop down one heat range on plugs so I'm gonna go ahead and replace all the plugs all right new plugs are all gapped and the old plugs have been in here for two years so this thing might just be happy having a new set of plugs in it letting it warm up a little bit the biggest hurdle right now is we only have five gallons of gas, so we don't get a whole lot of shots at this. All right, let's see what it wants to do. Not much so far. Picked up a little bit of power, but not very much, but I have it severely under time for having race fuel in it. So boost only went up 2 PSI from our pump gas tune and I didn't put any additional timing in it for the race gas yet. I want to make one run, uh, you know, let the fuel go through the whole system, get into the injectors, even though it's been idling and all that good stuff, but it's just something I've always done. So we went from 12 pounds to 14 pounds, 668 horsepower so far. So I'm going to try a little bit of timing before I go up any higher on the boost. What the fuck was that? Sort of scary, this green line's TPS. I let off the throttle, it only went to 77%. RPM kept climbing, uh, boost maintained, and uh, it turns out it's just the floor mat stuck under the pedal. So we're gonna pull the floor mat out of here. Pretty much 700. And if we compare the yellow and the red, you can see well, we got 30 horsepower gain from putting some timing in it. So I might throw a couple, a little bit more in there. How much yet, I'm not sure. Probably even more interesting is we made more power with less boost too. Hopefully this is the last one we'll have to do at this boost level before we can start throwing some CO2 at it.
to throw some CO2 at it. Boost keeps going down with timing, so it's actually only like 13.0, 13.1 PSI. So we're not even half a pound of boost higher than where we were on pump gas. And it actually, I guess the difference in the fuel is it wants a little bit less fuel too. So we're gonna have to pull out a little fuel, but with closed loop on, uh, we're five, six percent. Um, so the actual air fuel is the same. It's just taking a little bit more correction to get there. And the boost control is rock, working rock solid. It's as flat as can be. The blue line is the boost. Green TPS, red RPM, and I don't even know what the hell else I have on there at the moment. So the goal for this is 750. So if we can at least do that, then everyone will be happy. So I uh, just threw three or four PSI dome pressure at it. I'm gonna try this. <laughs> Seven fifty or your money back on this one. Seven sixty five. You crazy son of a bitch, you did. Seventeen pounds and got the closed loop back in check. This is one of the most solid dome pressure holding cars I've seen. It doesn't budge. Pulled a few plugs out, they all look nice and happy. We've already hit our goal, but I know how this stuff goes. Go to the track, make one run, and one turn it up again. So we're gonna make one more run, and it's probably about all the fuel we got left. We'll see what happens. I think we're about out of turbo. One more time. I guess we should go buy a lottery ticket. Uh, we're definitely about at the limits of what this wants to do and we blew a charge pipe off. So I'm gonna call it quits here on this one. I don't know, kind of really hoping that we could get to 800, but this isn't the car or the customer to really start leaning on it. I'm sure I could find a few more horsepower with some timing and fueling changes, uh, but I just threw some more dome pressure at it. Boost didn't go up at all. So we're gonna call this good. As always, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully we'll try to make a video of this thing at the racetrack here soon, both on 93 and on Racecast, so we'll see you then.